Mm, my hair, my hair is just not cooperating. Today starts the Malibu countdown, and that is my countdown to the 2016 Nautica Malibu Triathlon. Uh, I'm gonna deviate a little bit from my quest for why uh, people push themselves to extraordinary limits and focus my attention on generating excitement and enthusiasm for the Malibu race, and let's go. Welcome to Try Riot, a show that explores the mysteries of why ordinary people push themselves to extraordinary limits. I'm LG, and we're going to take a little bit of a hiatus from the exploring of people, mystery, pushing limits, and that stuff. And like I said in the intro, we're going to really look at um, developing some excitement and some enthusiasm for the Malibu Triathlon 2016. It's coming up September 17th and 18th. I'm racing in the Classic Distance Race, which is on the, the 18th. The International Distance Race is on the 17th. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this countdown is each day leading up to the race, give a little speed tip, a little bit of advice, and talk about just anything that crosses my mind related to triathlon. Maybe it's not so related to triathlon, but anyway, today, this is uh, day 10, well day one of the countdown, meaning 10 days to go, and I'm going to talk about the athlete guide. I've done a lot of races, uh, small local races, big international races, like Ironman, and almost every race I've ever been to produces an athlete guide. New York, Chicago, Ironman this, Ironman that, blah blah blah, they all produce athlete guides that you can print off and take with you. Except for Malibu. I, I don't know, maybe they do produce one and I haven't seen it. Uh, I, I searched the website looking for it. But that doesn't matter. That does not excuse you or me or any participant from knowing the rules. So here's my advice for today. Go on their website, read through the FAQ, read through the event listings, the event happenings, uh, and everything that's on their website so that you know because here's what I Saturday I'm not racing on Saturday on the 17th but I'm gonna be there with my camera and I'm gonna be taking pictures and videos of all the people who didn't read the rules and that should make some interesting video and once you've read the rules then you can watch my speed tip on setting up the transition area and in fact here it is. Keep the area around my bike as clean as possible. The last thing I want is a cluttered area. I see so many that are full of bike shoes, run shoes, uh, sunscreen, number belts, hats, water bottles, you name it, they've got it on there, but not mine. When I'm done setting up, my area has three things, a left run shoe, a right run shoe, and a number belt. If I need to carry anything else with me on the run, I attach it to the number belt, like a hat or a sport watch. That way, when I get into transition in the heat of the moment, all I have to do is grab that number belt, put on my shoes, and go. Until tomorrow when we have nine days left, stay to the right, pass on the left, and keep on smiling. For Tri Riot and the Malibu Countdown, by Tri Riot, I'm LG. I'm in no way feel affiliated with the race, by the way. I don't want you thinking that because I'm gonna. I, if you, I'm probably gonna get a call from a race director saying, "Stop the videos! You're you're not affiliated with the race." I hope he doesn't talk like that or she. That would be horrible.